Okay, welcome back to another episode. I worked out it was. It was only a few seconds after I closed it, but this is why. Because these auto push or pull, I can't remember. Anyway, but they're automatically bumping sh or jump. Blah, 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 let me start this again. They're automatically dumping the stuff straight back into the pipe since it's a valid tank to output and so I've put this here which is currently catching the refined oil so I'm going to be dropping the fluid ducts right and I'm going to be using their actual own lasers in this so I will be actually making lasers because you can t with the damn it where did I put the laser I'm pretty sure I put it back in here Am I going blind? Oh, there we go. So with the laser, you can actually drop it in front of this guy, and it will convert it. Right, so if we have the ability to use, it makes a fluid laser, and then that can turn into an item laser, and then that can be upgraded, or back to a, a energy laser. So we actually need to make more of them, because I will be using their own lasers to convert over. Um, I didn't look at any others if they did the same or not but it was just an easy choice for me because as I said I quite enjoy their lasers. They are easy to set up and they are really really nice looking. Um, it only takes one gold, not one gold, it actually takes eight gold right, and some string. And, I've always, and I can make more gold when I want. Um, it takes some more redstone for Estonia, because you need to do that. And you need to make one of, the, one of these, which if I can actually get them. So, <laughs> just naturally always going up there to select it from a JEI or NEI, if you're playing some older versions you need nine redstone so that actually burns through the redstone um, I clicked on here because I needed two more of them oops I did it again and I actually need to convert that so we can do that and there we go we have some of these but these are all getting turned into that Right, now the reason why I'm doing this because, um, or not re the reason why I'm not using these, as I said, because this fills up. This, oh, I didn't really want a buffer because it already has buffers inside of them. I think it's like 2k each of them, and then this has 2k internal. So, and let's see, we're down to 18, so this may not keep up, but once it's full, it may. Anyway. So that's the reason why I am doing this. So I'm just going to pop these off. I don't mind if I lose some. And I will just go doink, doink, doinker, and a doinker. And I absolutely love the look of the lasers, the blue lasers when they are linked. Like this. So, bam, look at that. Now these will, these can transfer back and forth. But the problem is, is I'm pretty sure it doesn't transfer the canola oil out. But this is what was actually pumping back into the system. So this will pump into there. So it will, sorry, this will pump in to here. I'll probably need to make more canola presses, and we are actually out. So I don't know, but this is the initial burst when everything gets filled up. That's why I have done this. That's why I'm doing it in stages too get all this backed up because this is actually quite slow I can pop in that but it won't matter um, but yeah this will just keep feeding that until this is full and all this is full so this is fine now what I can do is the next step which is I need to drop um, these into what this is so we technically need a another bucket. Do I have another bucket? No, I don't. 
Um, I have plenty of other buckets that I can use. I mean, I've still got my setup around here, so which will probably never ever be used again. So I'll, I'll, I'll end up pulling this down because it's no longer needed. So and I can't access that. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get another bucket. I don't even know where I put the other buckets, actually. There they are. I did. I knew where I put them. I lied. Ha ha ha. I fooled you people. So, what you need to do is, before I go ahead anyway, is I need to make up the system to drop all this in. Usually I like to keep them in within the same light or area, but since this is in the way, instead of me having to pull this down and move it, or move it, I'm just going to build it out this way, because usually I have a, a nice symmetrical system where this comes in, comes in, um, I think it's five blocks in a net, or three by three that just needed, and so we could do the first lot, so we could do one, two, and three, and then do one, two, and three. We actually might be able to do it. Let's just quickly make it, because they're identical in both when you make the sets. They just change what they're picking up and dropping. So we need the... Uh, I should just type in dropper. We need the... Automatic Precision Dropper, Fluid Placer, and Fluid Collector. So, these three here. Not, yeah, Auto Placer. I think that's what we need. Uh, yes. No. Dropper, Fluid Placer, and Fluid Collector. So, these three here. So, I'll only be making one set for now. And then I will go on and make... Um, couple more sets so yeah so this is going to be fun to make because I quite enjoy it and then I want to try and use the integrated integrated dynamics to do all the redstone and detection and stuff like that so yeah we will see how we go with it because I've never done it before I do coding and uh, I know how to code but in a coder st in a coder standpoint it's for me it was a little bit weird to look at and grasp around it um, I just found it rather annoying in the first time so I didn't actually continue on with it I just went meh whatever and did it my other way um, so yeah we will see how it goes. Um, we'll probably, I should probably count out how many it is. So I need one there. And then we need an auto placer, which is a standard, which is another standard. So all we need is just one of them. But we need 12 of these, and there you have enough of them. Okay, so we will build the automatic precision dropper. Well, I didn't say we're going to. We'll, we'll, we'll attempt. I lied, I know. So we need two of them. Need, I've already got cobblestone uh, and some redstone. Okay, so we should be able to do this. One of these bad boys. One of these bad boys, bam, we have it. Now this is the fun one because you need lots of buckets. This is why I made quite a few of them because I actually knew that I would need lots of buckets for this procedure. So, and actually need more palace crystals. Actually, do I need for this one a void? And I have one of them, and I have one of them. You think I knew what I was doing, hey? Wink, wink. So we quickly make one of them, and then we quickly make one of them. See, and that's an auto breaker and a auto placer. But we want to make it nice and fluidy, so we do that, and that, 
and there is our three that we require a fluid collector a fluid placer and a precision dropper so for this I will actually need to go back underground because I need I may need to make sure I don't lose these so and let's see for the middle one here let's see so we'll do two spacing I don't know how many I need but I'll just remove these three because there's wires that need to go underground and there's other stuff as well and I stepped up already because I need that there and I need one here actually I need one more down we should be fine and we need to do you there and we'll pick you up now the auto placer if you want to make it level is now this will throw it straight up so we'll just do that see straight up so that's how we want it we'll just take out that but we want it controlled by redstone so this is why I wanted the this lay here Torch down there to stop it monsters from spawning, like so. Now, since I don't have the, I cannot remember the name of the mod that used it. Uh, it's the new redstone control thingy out there. I can't do it the same way. But in here we have RF tools, which uses the. Uh, I'm not gonna remember the name of it now. Uh, I should have, I should have got all the names of everything, shouldn't I? Anyway, it detects what type or well, what type of liquid is in front of it. Actually, no, because inter integrated dynamics can do the same, and I want to use that. So, yeah, this is this is going to be fun for both of us because I will probably get angry and yell and scream at it because something won't work. But anyway, forward placer there, and then you want on this side a fluid collector, which is actually around the wrong way. I want to pick this one up, and then I want to pick this one up, and I want the collector on this side, and I want the placer on this side. So there, because this will the liquid will come straight out here into here. Then this will go. Oh look, we can place the place the fluid because there's nothing there. Then this one will go. Oh look, it has it is now been changed because the dropper goes oh look I can see that we need something uh, need that by the integrated dynamics it will pulse and everyone will be happy so let's just change all this to pulse pulse and pulse so we'll need to get the integrated dynamic system up and running to work properly so we need two riders and I think it's a two no, three riders and two readers and then we need a few other bits and pieces but we need to actually get all the items to get all this running so let's just put all this back in here which requires well doesn't require but put it in yeah we'll put that in there and that and that and that can stay we will put this away this away this away the seeds once again can go into here as we constantly need a nice lot of seeds. So we got 3160 seed oil which will make a hell of a lot of impregnated sticks and casings. That's why I'm still using or putting the seeds in it. Um, I can put this away, this away, this away, and I'll keep my mana tablet, which is used in hardly any mana, which is amazing. And the water bucket can stay not there. Off of my toolbar. Anyway, we need to make the integrated dynamic stuff. Right, so we can go ahead and start making this, but. Oh, don't tell me I need actual uh, chorus fruit. Um, it is up here. Auto audio reader, block reader, 
entity reader, extra dimension fluid reader. So we need a fluid reader. So that looks good. So, okay. Oh wow. We need a sticky piston. Ah, oh, I need to make. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, gonna have to make goddamn slime. There's probably an easy way to make slime, but we need to get this done. And I think, yeah, that's the redstone reader. No, I want the redstone writer. So we need this, and then we need a fluid, and then we need... I don't know if this one's actually set to use power. We'll work it out when it gets there, because it will tell us. Um, we'll need the variable store as well, and a logic programmer energy buffer and then we may need actually the generator as well but we should be able to just tap our normal power into here and it runs off of it but we will see how it goes and also we'll need cabling and the wrench and I don't know what with the labeler but hey and we'll probably need the book as well so this is the fun part where we need to make a mineral no, yeah mineral sapling um, so we, we need one of these to get started, which can be converted by using four mineral berries onto a birch sapling. Hopefully I've got a birch. I do. So that is that is good. So Yeah, so we, but we need to make four of these and we need light blue dye on a mushroom. And I don't think I have any mushrooms quickly. No, no mushrooms. Uh, let's see if I can get a mushroom or let's see how to get a mushroom so you still require some of this so there is well we need a mushroom to start off with uh, we can use the industrial centrifuge but we don't have that we don't have that we don't have that we do have that so we need eight red dye, six health and a piece of grass so uh, it's been a while since I've used my infusion thingy uh, there it is and we need eight red dye and I know I have it somewhere there we go eight red dye and we need some grassland uh, did I put the... Now I need to find where I put the grass. I know I cap some. Uh, there we go. And the infusion it needs to go in. No. Sorry, this needs to go there. This needs to go there. We run over here. We open and close the gate. Plant that there, and then we go, ouch. And there we go. We have a mushroom. Now, I'm hoping that the mineral actually drops a sapling, crossing my fingers greatly, because I've had one, I oh, had trees that never did it. Now we, oh, we need four of them. We need four mushrooms. So we need three more. And we need more of them. So we need more bone meal. So let's try this. This should be enough to get some. We it doesn't matter if we break grass, uh, keep the grass. It's all good. It's just need red dye. I wonder actually if it's how hard it is to get red dye with some changes. No, not uses. Uh, so we can collect them, we can cut them up, like typical. I'm looking for a way to get it. Nope, there's no way to get it. So we go ban. I should be cutting this grass up because I need more for Britannia. But I also want quite a bit of red. Okay, so let's grab the shears. And replace all of it that we have used. Nicely done. 
Okay, so we have some spare grass. We find out what's the best way to get it. I could have. No, I don't think I know. I don't think I can use it that way. What's this? I have no clue. Fairy lights. Okay. Uh, so the crusher gives us three, two, oh the four, what's the four? Uh, pulverizer which I don't have, uh, that will convert it, the crusher will give us only two, and that's it. So guess what? We go in here. So this should give us a nice amount. have a phone call so be right back Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about the interruption. I had a phone call and I had to take it. So, all should be good. Hopefully. Anyway, we were making more mess. Since we need more mushrooms. Since we need four of these mushrooms. So, I could just do a bone meal and then get some more. Wow, that was the best that I've hit out. So we... No, we're meant to be hitting that, aren't we? Duh. So let's regenerate some more hit points. And we can just pick up these. Oh, hello. That's a different grass block. So we'll just pick up these. Wait till we regenerate all our hit points. And I thought I had enough, but I guess I didn't. Get out of the way, sheepy sheeps. Or I'll give you the big sleep. Uh, my maths must be really bad because I thought I had enough, but apparently I am five short. So. Now I have enough. That's okay, we have more. And I need more hit points. Or I will kill myself. And you guys would love that, wouldn't you? You'd be like, Noob, you died! But don't forget, I saved myself from falling through the void. Ha ha! So yeah, I am not a noob. I am amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm an idiot. Thanks for playing! And we have enough mushrooms. I probably could set up a mushroom area, but yeah, don't really need it. And now to go on to the next part, which is I need to do four onto. No, I need this, so I need. Oh my god, I actually need to plant them and six health again. And I need four light dye, which is easy because I just need some lapis. So, um, 16 lapis on some bone meal, and we should be good. Oh, no, 8 lapis. That should be 16. Take this off. While we're here, we'll just quickly grab those other ones. Okay, so now we go beat up some poor mushrooms. Oh man, this is just amusing, this this pack. It makes funnies. And I can't plant them! Ugh! Um, it has to be uh, kind of dark, doesn't it? And not raining. <laughs> um, I can't remember how... Um, yeah, there we go. So, and then take this. That gives us one. Plant another one. Now, if we had um, uh, the the uh, pink dirt, uh, I can't remember the name of at the top of my head. If we had that, we would 
um, just be planting lots of them because they automatically grow you have them around the witch water I can't remember but it probably doesn't grow like that anymore one more drink some more soup Done. Now we we need to use it on a birch sapling. So we need more. We're running around in circles, aren't we? Just to get some of these saplings. I hopefully I, I, I am crossing my fingers that we get a sapling. And there's our sapling. Um, I really shouldn't have sheep around here because they'll probably try and eat it. <laughs> uh, but let's bone mill this bad boy up. And there we go. I don't know if there's any special way to get more saplings, but... Oh, we got plenty. There we go. Well, actually... Yes, got five. Woot. So we can grow more. And we got plenty of mineral berries, so we can eat these if we want, or well, actually we need to use them in making items. So yeah, let's have a quick look. No more. Awesome. So now we have 30 logs, which is actually quite a lot. And I didn't make a squeezer in this one, did I? I don't know if I made a squeezer. Did I make a squeezer? I don't think I did. I'm drunk. Sorry, guys. No, nope, I don't think I did make a squeezer. If I did, I don't know what I've done with it. So... A squeezer requires... One of these, which gives you a block of iron, and then we need one more iron for the base, and then we need two of these, and six of these, and four of them. We have a squeezer now. The good thing about the squeezer is we need this bad boy. And it requires an axe. Why? Why would you require an axe? Okay, so between this and this, um, we put you there and then you there, and we need a lever. Actually, we could use a button. If I have a button, uh, I think I might have thrown it away but that'll do. So what you need to do to get this bad boy to work is you put the log underneath then you need to jump up and down on it. See? And then it will squeeze it all out and then it will ferment in there and then we do it again as we need a couple of these See? I'll make four. Done. See? It is a really interesting way. There is plenty of uses for the squeezer in this pack. So I used to put uh, the... What do you call it? Blaze powder in here and jump up and down on it to make lava. And then I moved over to the other one because the it was a lot better with a crucible and inserter. So now with these you can turn it into the shards, which gives us 40 sticks. And now we can make the main items. So I don't know if we... Oh, 
need a no we don't need a furnace because we actually need um, we can hook it up to our power network all I need is the battery so uh, these are the different type of batteries but look at it this is 1.6 million hold oh wow wow that's actually 100,000 I think 100,000 would be easy because it's gonna have constant power so yeah anyway it is actually wrapping up point so we need to finish this episode and I actually need to have some food because I realized I haven't eaten since like 10 o'clock this morning I skipped lunch because I wasn't hungry so I know I know I know you had to eat your food but no I was not hungry so let's make actually instead of making another one I will just go jump on two logs so anyway I will end this episode and I will see you in the next episode. Laters, and have fun.